every day this hospital in Kisumu County treats new cases of severe malaria. The climate is hot and humid and mosquitoes wreak havoc in the area. This young woman risks a miscarriage due to a malaria attack. The child inside you feeds through the umbilical cord, so if you have malaria, it can infect the child because malaria attacks the body through the blood. I think the burden of this hospital is malaria. The highest, among the top 10 diseases, the leading cause of death in this area is malaria. It kills more than 10,000 people in Kenya every year. 27% of children under five contracted. So when the opportunity to test a vaccine presented itself, the government seized the opportunity, hoping to lower the mortality rates. In this clinic, many babies receive the vaccine for free. She was first vaccinated at six months old. Now she's seven months, so I'm going to give her her second dose of the malaria vaccine. Is your child healthy? Yes, she is fine. All right, so I'm going to give her the second shot. Please come with me. The child needs to receive four doses before she turns two. This vaccine is very good. It supplements the preventative methods we use, like mosquito nets. There is still no scientific data on how the number of cases have changed since the start of the vaccination campaign in 2019. But this nurse is already seeing the situation improve. Since we started the malaria vaccine, uh, the, the malaria cases have reduced. The children who are coming with malaria positive have been a few as compared to when the malaria vaccine was not there. The vaccine, which was recently in testing phase, was just approved by the World Health Organization. This laboratory compiles data from the region and analyzes samples in search of the parasite responsible for the disease. We're checking on how severe malaria is in this other region uh, when the vaccine is not there. And then thereafter, when the vaccine is rolled out, then we will have to, to see if there's been any difference in terms of the intensity of malaria transmission. The vaccine reduces the risk of severe cases by 30%. It has been received by more than 800,000 children and studies show that there are no major side effects. The safety profile remained good and there were no glitches or events that possibly proved that there was any safety problems with the vaccine. The vaccine alone, however, will not end malaria. In Kenya, other researchers are trying to find complementary solutions. In Kirinyaga County, mosquitoes are everywhere thanks to its vast rice fields and their irrigation system. These scientists come to gather particular mosquito specimens, the ones infected by a microbe. Microsporida is an endosymbiont that is found in a mosquito. It blocks the mosquito from transmitting malaria. So, we, we, we were interested in, in it because we want to use it as a, as a malaria control tool. The microsporidia strengthens the mosquito's immune system, allowing it to fight the parasite responsible for malaria. In their lab, the researchers are studying how to transmit the microbe on a large scale. This is the full catch. No? Okay. No, um, probably like two. Two cages, so okay. probably about how many? 600 or so? They dissect the male mosquitoes to study transmission rates. Females are placed aside. We're going to let them lay eggs and then screen them for the microsporidia. And those that are infected, we keep the eggs of and we let them grow and we do experiments on, on them because they're infected as well. Because a mother infects all of her offspring um, and also male mosquitoes, when they mate with females, transfer the microsporidia. So it has two ways of spreading through a mosquito population. It will take many more years to develop a solution to spread the microbe on a large scale. However, according to the researchers, it could ultimately provide another solution to the malaria epidemic. So I think the, the, the key to solving this malaria issue is breaking the cycle uh, at different points with strategies that are complementary. So we're working on a new part of that cycle, and that's why I think that this tool could be used in conjunction with other tools that we've already got. Numerous studies are being carried out to end the malaria epidemic. 
The vaccine and the findings made in Kenya provide much hope of an effective solution in coming years.